Uh, Wildcard Custom, Ghetto Garage, Real Time, Real Life. Um, like I said, I can't even tell. My buddy Don said that he thought these were like LEDs and little holes. Actually, all of them are a little, is a little drill. And the light behind it shines through. So I don't like that clock because I can't read it half the time from a distance. It's uh, 122 Sunday. Um, I rigged up some stuff today. I started getting some water coming out of my lines when I was sanding. And the reason being is... Oh, let me turn the light on. See that little... That little cockpit exit goes outside and it drains your tank um because water freezes in here because it doesn't get a whole lot of heat and when I redid this tank a long time ago you see that's a bunch of undercoat and tar because when my pump broke down oh, in 2007 see what I wrote on there 2007 anyway uh, what's my point? My point is, um, there's water in there, and when I use that torpedo heater to heat this up, what it's doing is, see, this is all drywalled in here, but in here it's just a little, it's not that thick, and the heat rises, and then ice dams, and then when I try to heat this up to get the water out of the tank, because that little thing, I just had to change that, because if you notice now, it's brass, another one broke, and I came out here, and they were, I could try to turn on my compressor, there was no air pressure, there wasn't a whole lot of water, because the water's still frozen in there. Anyway, when I turned the heat on in here, well this is what happened, the water started feeding into the window. So, make a long story short, I was thinking about it, that, um, you know, it's like a car engine, I just replaced this pump. This pump was like 900 bucks in 2007. And whenever I started up, it starts going knock, 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 knock for a minute like a car. So I got the idea, like a diesel car where they have it plugged in. Well, what I did is I just rigged up a little hair dryer. And what I try to do is just, uh, it takes a long time for this metal to get warm so that oil gets warm so it doesn't knock at first. Um, I haven't even tried it. I'm still letting it warm up. Um, there was a gentleman on the internet, on, on YouTube, that was wondering, if, is this going to make the hood heavy, the diamond plate? Well, no, because it's only 043. And it's quite, it's quite thin. And what I did yesterday is I took 40 grit, um, sandpaper and I sanded this down. You don't want to go too far and I did it here While I'm on it what I'm gonna have to do is I'm gonna have to sand that with 40 grit to give it something to bite to because I'm not I'm gonna be able to use PL Loctite glue in order to keep a lot of it down. I'll be able to use some pot rivets, but very few What I did is I don't know if you can tell where you start seeing the the orange's color, you don't want to get too far there because it start taking the integrity of the hood away. So I did that a lot of, there's some glue here and glue here, and I'll be able to put a few uh, pot rivets here and there. Um, I did start doing some sand work in here. Um, what I did a long time ago, I like the Craftsman. Um, they're not warranted like they're hand tools. But um, I like to, the reason I like it is maybe other DAs are like this too. I used to have an old one like this and it gave me trouble. And I still have it. It's a good brand. It's a blue point. I believe it's a snap on. To me, how tall it is from here to here, it, it gave me trouble. It wobbled. You can see where I dropped it more than once and I got red tape on it. Anyway, I like this. Because I could put one hand on it and my other hand on top of it and it seems like the shaft is shorter and it works good for me. And I did this a long time ago. This is, uh, I can't even pronounce this, Merca. Um, what I did is it used to have a big pad on it and I cut it down and made like, I think it's like a three inch pad so I can get into small spots. Because I, I hate hand sanding. I hate hand sanding. 
you know, I'm an old man and it gets old. But anyway, I was going to show you, I bought a few Duro blocks. I bought the, the cheap kit or the, the smallest kit you can get when you start out, and which is real nice because they're round and stuff like that. And then as slow but sure, I started buying more, more um, Duro blocks. I got the big one. I don't even know what that costs. That's a lot of work when you're hand sanding quarters, but you got to do what you got to do. Well, this is what I did. I modified some of these blocks on a belt sander so I could get different angles into nooks and crannies instead of using my finger. And I went out and bought some more blocks. See how it's got a con concave surface? I haven't even used it. And then I got this too. This is to use your DA pads. I get carried away when I go to the body, I mean with the paint supply because that's my thing. That's where my money goes. I don't know how this Dura block goes. I think you're supposed to put the sandpaper on the round end, but so far I've used it on the pointed end. Um, it's nice to get in nooks and crannies. And then I, this, I needed a small block, so I cut this one down. Should have I? Uh, probably not. I used to use a lot of I don't even yeah I'm sure I used to use these back in the day when I was a kid um they're okay but the paper will tend to roll and get a ridge here maybe I'm doing something wrong I don't know um basically that's all going on. That's all that's going on here. I didn't make a video yesterday because um, I'm not the slickest at body work. Uh, I paint pretty good, but body work is just very discouraging to me. Very, but you just got to do what you got to do. Um, do the best you can and be patient. Um, like my compressor right now. Um, if I put heat in there, it'll it'll melt the water in the tank, but it makes water come into the garage over here. So pfft, half a dozen of one and six of the other. So I don't know what I'm gonna do. Um, it sucks, you know. Um, it's getting being getting really cold around here. Um, I don't really have much more to say. I did use this vacuum a lot when I was sucking up that uh that fiberglass because this get this gets nasty it gets really nasty and you don't want to turn on the fans to suck that stuff out because then you just you just wasting heat and I'm trying to save a buck um I don't think I really have much more to say um the PL glue like I said is um is a lot tight and this is what how I do it right by my door I put a little list so I don't forget because I forget a lot of things and that way when I come in the garage um, or leave the garage I know what do you got to buy today not gonna go today to get it but you know I try to make a list and get a bunch of things that all at the same time there is my mood indicator light that's how fast my moods change okay I'm gonna get the names wrong okay I don't have a lot of words of wisdom today. Um, F I K K Dick. Finch. I don't know how to pronounce it. I want to thank him for giving me that spinning skull thing. My son hasn't been here yet to integrate it to my videos. Um, there's a guy named, and I know it's Yukon something something. You know, I try to give you a shout out, but. You know, a lot of things go through my head that I can't remember everything, and I'm sorry. Um, I try to get a shout out to everybody um, that I want to watch the clips. Uh, there's another one. Um, I got this one. James Freddy. He's a he's a body man, and he does some. I think he's in Tucson, Arizona. He does some caliber work. He really does. Um, oh, I was going to show you guys the set. Where is it at? You guys, if you get a chance, man, watch this video. 
it's really good, man. It, it's like uh, back in the, it's a spinoff of the Christmas story or something like that. The characters have changed, but I like it a lot because it's old school. It's back in, it's a little bit before my time, but I can remember, my, I got an older brother that, it was like this in the 60s and 70s when life was real calm and peaceful and, I don't know, it just mellowed me out. I don't have no words of wisdom today. Um, things happen like the compressor. You can, I can get all upset about her or try to take that energy and um, try to take that energy and fix it. Um, I think I already said it, but the diamond plate, I'm going to have to scuffle it with the 40 grit and then I'll glue it all together. Um, it's really not a, it's not a really thing, a, a big deal. You guys can do this, um, for real. Um, it's not magic. Um, it's just an idea. And this is what I always look at. I don't really think anything is original. Maybe I'm wrong. Like when the, when the real fire came out, when that one guy started spraying real fire, that was original. What I mean is, um, a lot of my ideas, I don't know where I get them from. I probably get them from other people or other things I remember back in the day. The diamond plate, I don't know where I got that idea from. Maybe I did get it from somewhere else. I don't know. But what I'm saying is, is to copy somebody, I used to upset me, but it's flattery because they like your work and they do doing something that you do. I mean, they elaborate or change a little bit. There's nothing wrong with that. Why am I rambling on about this? I don't know, because like I try to tell you people, this is real life. This is what I think right now. Sometimes I'm in a good mood, sometimes I'm in a bad mood. Um, you guys think this might be a little drama stuff. No, I just show you what life is. Sometimes it's good, sometimes it's bad. I try to throw in some tool time. Um, I try to make it more about tool time, but I don't have much to show you because it's slow here. And I hate sanding, man. Sanding. And then after I did that snow shovel thing on my S10 when the snow fell on, man, doing that big long rod thing with the snow kind of hurt my back, man. And it kind of pinches. And I ended up going to a doctor. And man, sometimes doctors help you, sometimes it's like money. I don't know. And, and I see some people fighting. They want to leave comments against each other and all this stuff about. Fight and fight and fight. Don't don't do that. Don't do that. Um, that's what that's what happened to me and Pete. We started fighting over some stuff that wasn't really worth it. And you know what? If me and Pete would have went about things different, man, we not that it's ever gonna happen, but me and him could have been like a killer team, man. Um, I don't have as many skills as he's got, but I do all right. And as far as being on videotape, him videotaping me, I'm videotaping him, that would have been hilarious, I think. I don't know. But that's in the past, and... Thumbs up, thumbs down. I don't care. It's okay. Um, <laughs> piece of property, piece of mind, piece of pussy, piece of something, motherfucker. You know, be good to each other. Don't get caught up in little stuff. It's not worth it. 